Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to be looking at position, velocity, and acceleration problems. Here's the scenario. Suppose the function s of t shown here represents the position of a horse from a fence in feet at time t seconds on the interval 0, 8. Now, we're going to do a series of problems that relate to this scenario. I encourage you to pause the video at any time to try these problems on your own. Problem 1. Determine the times when the horse's velocity is zero. In order to find these times, we need the velocity function. So let's take the derivative of the position function. When we do this, we get v of t equals 9t squared minus 60t plus 64. We can factor this to 3t minus 4 times 3t minus 16 and set that equal to 0. Then we can solve and we get t equals 4 thirds and t equals 16 thirds. Those are the times when the horse's velocity is 0. Problem 2. Determine the times when the horse changes directions. Now what we need to do is just determine where the velocity changes signs. In problem one, we determined that the velocity of the horse is zero at t equals four thirds and t equals 16 thirds. Let's put these two values on a number line and then analyze the signs of the velocity. First, let's pick a number to the left of four thirds and plug it into the velocity function and determine the sign. Here, I'll test the number one. When we plug one into v of t, we can see that the first factor is negative and the second factor is negative. This means that the sign of the velocity to the left of t equals four thirds is positive because a negative times a negative is a positive number. Now let's test a number in between t equals 4 thirds and t equals 16 thirds. Here we'll test three. Plugging in three to v of t makes the first factor positive and the second factor negative. That means v of t is negative on the interval 4 thirds to 16 thirds. Finally, we'll test any number bigger than 16 thirds. Let's test 10. When we plug 10 into v of t, we can see that the first factor is positive and the second factor is positive. That means v of t is positive to the right of 16 thirds. Now we can make a conclusion. The horse changes directions at t equals 4 thirds and t equals 16 thirds since v of t changes signs at these values. Problem three, determine the displacement of the horse in the first five seconds. To do this, we'll use the position function. Displacement is just the final position minus the starting position. So in this case, that would be S of five minus S of zero, which is negative 55 feet. That means at T equals five, the horse is 55 feet to the left from its position at T equals zero. Problem four, determine the distance the horse travels in the first five seconds. The thing to consider here is that the horse is sometimes moving in the positive direction and sometimes moving in the negative direction. The good news is we already have found where the horse changes directions. T equals 4 thirds and T equals 16 thirds. Since 16 thirds is bigger than 5, we don't need to worry about it. So we know that the horse traveled to the right from T equals 0 to T equals 4 thirds. And the horse traveled to the left from t equals 4 thirds to t equals 5. So now we need to find the distance that the horse traveled on each interval and add them together. To do this, we'll take the absolute value of the displacement on each interval and add the results together. We need to use absolute value bars to ensure that the answers are positive because distance is always positive. So we'll find the absolute value of s of 5 minus s of 4 thirds plus the absolute value of s of 4 thirds minus s of zero. Adding those together gives us 133.222 feet. Okay, last problem. On what intervals is the horse speeding up? And on what intervals is the horse slowing down? To solve this, we need to analyze the signs of the velocity and acceleration functions. The acceleration function is 18t minus 60 because it's the derivative of the velocity function. And remember, in order for an object to speed up, v of t and a of t have to have the same signs. And in order for an object to slow down, v of t and a of t have opposite signs. That means we need to do sign pattern testing for the V of T and A of T functions. 
We've already determined where V of T equals zero, but we also need to know where A of T equals zero, and that occurs at T equals 10 thirds. Here's the sign pattern test that we did earlier with the velocity function. Now we just need to do a sign pattern test with the A of T function. So I've placed T equals 10 thirds on a number line. Let's test the number one in the A of T function. When we do this, 3t minus 10 is negative. That means the whole a of t function is negative to the left of t equals 10 thirds. Now let's pick a number to the right of 10 thirds. Here we'll test 10. When we plug in 10 into the a of t function, the whole function is positive. That means a of t is positive to the right of 10 thirds. Now let's make a chart to determine where the horse is speeding up or slowing down. On the interval zero to four thirds, the velocity is positive and the acceleration is negative. Therefore, the horse is slowing down. From four thirds to 10 thirds, both the velocity and acceleration are negative. Therefore, the horse is speeding up. From 10 thirds to 16 thirds, the velocity is negative, but the acceleration is positive. So the horse is slowing down. And from 16 thirds to eight, both the velocity and acceleration are positive, so the horse is speeding up. Well, that's it for now. Just keep on practicing. And that's how you rock calculus. <laughs>